With 100% of city dwellers and 90% of rural inhabitants having access to water, Tunisia is in a privileged situation on the African continent. But this isn't the full story, and the figures hide deep inequalities. Entire regions have no water distribution network. People have to travel several kilometers to get water. As a result, these regions are being abandoned, despite the fact they have the potential for economic development. We have problems getting water. I live more than two kilometers away. I come here with my wheelbarrow and jerry cans, so I can't carry a lot of water. Then there's the road. It's in a bad state. I have to push the wheelbarrow right up to my house. In winter, when it rains, it's almost impossible. When someone gets sick, everything is held up. A drinking water distribution program is being implemented across 80% of Tunisia, aimed at the poorest rural inhabitants in the country. The goal is to make sure every family home will have full access to water. The project that began in 2012 has seen aging sewerage networks rehabilitated and new ones built. The $140 million project is financed by the African Development Bank. This project will allow us to fulfill three objectives. Firstly, to provide enough quality drinking water. The second is to improve people's quality of life through better sanitary conditions. And the third is to make the territory more attractive via economic development and job creation. Here in the province of Mornag, 22 families used to have to walk for at least two hours to get water. They were recently connected to the water supply network. It has made a huge difference, especially for the women. With running water now always available, I can organize my day better. It's made it much easier to do all the housework. But the best thing is that the children are cleaner now. That's important for me, the cleanliness of my children and of my house. More than 100 kilometers away in the rural area of Benarus, the work connecting households to the network is almost completed. Isam is truly exceptional. Up until a few years ago, he lived in Tunis, but he decided to return home to raise livestock. His friends and relatives were extremely concerned, and they had a right to be, as Isam cannot see. During the day, a young boy helps him with his work, but he lives alone in a small isolated house four kilometers from the village. It's tough without water, even for showering. The water you can buy here is expensive and it's just rainwater. It's never very clean and you can't drink it. To drink, I have to wait for my father to come from Tunis. He brings tap water from the city. He makes the entire trip with the bottles. It's tiresome and inconvenient for all concerned. I asked to be connected to the main supply, and that should happen by the end of the week. Then I'll be able to go ahead with my dairy cow project. Isam has three cows and with the arrival of water hopes to buy seven more to develop his business. But the agricultural sector is not the only one to benefit from Maine's water. Some are so confident that they didn't even wait for the water network before investing. 250 kilometers from Tunis in the governorate of Kasserine, this is a particularly busy stretch of highway. I 
يعني فلاحتي نحس روحي خير من اللي خرجوا برا I'm happy here at home. I don't want to leave. All of my brothers have gone abroad, but I told myself I could live better in my region with my family. And by investing my money here. The idea is to provide tourists and everybody that travels through this region with a rest area. We want to open a butcher shop, a grocery store, and then other things. We'll see what comes up. Kamel's project is already providing construction work for the locals. Once his business is up and running, he will have...